Hello and welcome to another video. In this one we're going to be talking about raw strings in Python, which commonly get uh, confused with regex strings. Python does not have a regex literal at all, so it's you know it has the same R prefix, so it's it's easy to confuse, but you know they're they're a separate concept entirely. Also, it's very common to use raw strings with regexes, but it is not a regex string, and I want to show you how they work today, as well as some other things uh, dealing with backslashes and and how you can solve those problems in Python. So let's jump into that. Okay, so a raw string in Python is a string that starts with the letter R in its or it has an R in its string prefix. Um, it can also be a capital R. I don't know why Python allows both the uppercase and lowercase version of string prefixes. I've really only seen people use the lowercase version, although the uppercase version is you know, valid as well. And so you know, if you see R foo, this is a raw string and R foo is another raw string. Now the R prefix of this string only matters in the syntax of the string. It ends up being converted into you know, a, a normal string literal after that. Uh, so, you know, a raw string is exactly the same th as, uh, you know, a normal string. There's there's actually nothing different uh, once it's been, you know, parsed and evaluated. But the R prefix or the, the raw prefix of the string uh, allows you to change how characters are treated inside of the string. And particularly, it only treats one character specially, and that is the backslash character. Uh, inside of a raw string, a backslash is treated literally. Uh, if you're familiar with like at strings in C sharp, or I don't know, there's there's this sort of feature in a bunch of different programming languages. Uh, but it, it's similar to that, where like uh, backslashes are left alone literally. So if you have like you know. Um, Let's say you said like foo backslash and bar. Uh, this backslash is a backslash n is a character escape. This means a new line. So if we, you know, if we had this string and we were to print it, you'll see we get foo new line bar. Uh, but if we turn this into a raw string, this makes the backslash now treated literally, and so you'll see a a literal backslash in the string and no longer a new line. So you'll see here backslash n bar. And that's really all that raw strings do. They just make backslashes treated uh, specially. Now, note there is there's one <laughs> there's one kind of annoying edge case on this, and that is you can't have a raw string that is one character long, um, <laughs> because it treats this as an escape of the single quote. Actually, I think, uh, yeah, there's a there's actually like no way to escape that single quote here in a raw string because you will you will always get the you know backslash back literally um, and so if you need to make a backslash string of length one you actually always have to write it um, not with a raw prefix but like this and of course the representation looks like two backslashes but it is actually only one so that's <laughs> that's kind of a weird edge case for for raw strings or strings in general um, but something to look out for also. <laughs> If you've been on my stream, you'll notice that sometimes I talk about French strings, which is just a F string that is also a raw string. Um, so, you know, like a do, oh, do I have any variables? No, I don't. Thing equals one. Uh, print French string. Uh, so this will print a literal backslash n instead of a new line character, and then it'll print, you know, the one being substitute because it, it is an F string. Uh, but the reason that the reason that I make the silly joke is fr is the country code for France. But anyways, a stupid joke. Uh, the last thing that I want to talk about is invalid escape sequences, which is uh, a problem that's now a syntax warning in more recent versions of Python, and will eventually, I believe, eventually become a syntax error. Uh, they've tried to flip it a few times, but gotten a lot of pushback from older code that doesn't adhere to this or doesn't run with warnings enabled to fix problems early enough. Um, let me let me show you that really quickly. Uh, let's make a script file. We're gonna use the regex library. Import re, reg equals re dot compile. And so this is the common mistake that I see people make, which is like, uh, I want to match some number of digits, so they'll use the escape for digit, which is backslash d in Python's regex flavor. Um, and this is actually an invalid escape sequence. If we were to run this in the terminal over here. Uh, we need to turn on warnings. So we're gonna do dash w once. That says print the warning once when there's a problem. 
And you'll see here that we get a deprecation warning that says there's an invalid escape sequence backslash D, and it points you, you know, at the various string that we did. And the reason for that is uh, there are special escape sequences in strings. So for instance, like U2603 is, you know, the this, this snowman, and this is, this is what's considered an escape sequence. This is a valid escape sequence, but backslash D is meaningless in a string. Um, but it does mean something in a regular expression. So usually the fix for this is to put an R in front of this, um, and that will turn this into a raw string where the backslash is literally part of the string. Um, and so this no longer has, you know, no longer has that warning here. It's, it's, uh, it, it eventually gets evaluated as this string down here. Um, before this was silently converted, so you can see they're silently converted to the same string where an invalid escape sequence just becomes, you know, the, the backslash stays there. Uh, but this will be an error I believe in the future. So uh, one thing about this is it's sometimes tricky to catch this, like not everyone runs with warnings enabled. Uh, one thing that you can do is you can install Flake 8 or PyCode style, which has a check for this. I believe Pylint also has a check for this, but I don't really use Pylint all that much. Uh, but you can see here that you'll get this W605 invalid escape sequence. And this one is actually very important to fix. As I mentioned before, this will become a syntax error in a future version of Python. Uh, now, fortunately, I've written a tool which will automatically fix this problem for you, among other things. Uh, the tool is called PyUpgrades. If I do pip install PyUpgrade, install that tool. If I run PyUpgrade on this file here, so you can see we have an invalid escape sequence right now. So if we were to do you know, Python 3 dash W error or dash W once. You can also uh, turn warnings into errors by doing W error. I'll just show that, I guess. Uh, you can see that we will get a syntax error instead of a, a warning there, and it'll actually point you at the string that has the invalid escape sequence. But the nice thing is pi upgrade can automatically fix this for you. So if you run pi upgrade t.py, you'll see it says it rewrote t.py, and if we were to reopen t.py, you'll see that it has converted this into a raw string. Now, sometimes you can't properly convert this into a raw string, so I'll actually give you an example of that right now. So if you had an invalid escape sequence plus a valid escape sequence, so this, you know, this string is a backslash, a D, a new line character, and then a plus, uh, if I were to change this into a raw string, this would turn this into a backslash, which we don't want, because that would change the meaning of the string. Um, now, fortunately, PyUpgrade is smart enough to figure this out. So if we do PyUpgrade t.py, uh, it will know in this case that the correct transformation to make this no longer invalid is to add an extra backslash here. Um, but yeah, so PyUpgrade's, you know, <laughs> PyUpgrade is probably better at doing this than I am usually. Um, sometimes manually, it's a little bit tricky to figure out the right things to do here. But anyway, that's raw strings, that's escape sequences, that's W605 and from Flake 8, and that's PyUpgrade, which will help you fix this. Um, and note that this will probably become a syntax error in the future, so it's a good idea to try and fix these in your projects. Um, but hopefully this was helpful. If you have additional things you want me to explain, leave a comment below or reach out to me on the various platforms. But thank you all for watching, and I will see you in the next one.